Good morning and happy Tuesday. If you followed along on my Facebook page last night and this morning, you know that my area had a tornado come through last night and we don't have power at our house still yet today. So from what I understand, it may be a couple of days before we have power back. So I'm in the big city today, hanging out at my mom's house. She has power, internet, so we've got a good place to hang out and wait until things are better situated at our house. We're fortunate that we have no damage to our house whatsoever. We had trees come down across the road and we spent a couple hours last night with a whole lot of people cutting trees, dragging branches, and just moving along to make it um, possible for us to get in and out of our dirt road. So there are things when you live out in the middle of the country, when you have um, an accident happen or a storm moves through, you get cut off from resources. And I found last night I was very thankful. I had done a little bit of prepping last month when the hurricane was um, supposed to come through and take our power out. I had stocked up on extra water because we have five people that live in our house. It takes a lot of water just for one day for all of us. So I had water on hand. I had bought some food items like protein bars, granola bars, and that kind of stuff. And the boys had not eaten through that. So we had some basic foods and we were fine. We have um, a lot of woods around us and none of the trees fell anywhere near our house. So we know we we're very blessed and fortunate just to be without power. And if it's okay, I used my battery backup, was able to get in on the internet, get all of our devices charged up, and we really didn't miss a beat. The boys and I sat down last night and we played Monopoly by candlelight, and that was kind of fun. And we stayed up a little later than usual playing and just enjoying time together. And I will say when we went to bed, when you live in the middle of the country and have no power, it is very, very dark. So that was kind of different for me because I'm, I'm used to like a little bit more light because a storm had come through. There wasn't even really any moonlight last night. So it was a pretty dark night out in the country. This morning I got up, I went to the Y and worked out. They had power. I had a place to get a shower and they had coffee. So I was set and ready to roll. I got my caffeine, my workout, and my shower all at the same place. So I'm thankful for the small blessings that we've had. I will tell you that we were in the middle of dinner last night when the storm went through and took out our power. We used a gallon jug of water we had, filled up the sink, and put all of our dirty dishes there. So I do have some dishes sitting around in a little bit of mystery water, and it's okay. I'll deal with that when we get power back. Not getting any laundry done today, but we did our basic routines. Everybody is dressed to the shoes. Um, my boys brought their clothes over to my mom's house. They've had a shower this morning and we'll just hang out with her today. If the freezers start thawing today, we'll have a big cookout tomorrow with our gas grill. Everything is going to work out. Charlotte, thanks for your note. I'm thankful that I've not heard of anybody being injured in my direct area. It was a pretty big storm system. I know there was damage at our Hickory Airport. There was damage in Spartanburg, South Carolina at the airport. So I know that there was a lot of damage done by this storm that moved through very quickly last night. And I'm thankful that we're okay. We have a lot of friends who have trees down today. So I know that a lot of people are pulling together and helping each other out and I love that. I love how people will come together in times of crisis and work together and they forget the, these little small things that they have that are irritating them for the day. Um, I did pick up breakfast for us this morning since we weren't able to cook and I will tell you all the fast food restaurants are doing really well business wise today. There are thousands of people without power around here. So if you are one of those without power and you have your phone and a little bit of internet, just do the basic things you have to do. I had to brush my teeth this morning um, with just a bottle of water to help me along. So it's one of those things, you do what you gotta do and it'll be okay. The power will come back and we'll be back to life as normal. If you are not prepared for losing power, I really suggest you make a list of things that you would need. Candles, batteries, you want to have some bottled water or gallon jugs of water and just basic stuff like that. Some foods that you can eat that you don't have to warm up in the microwave or on the stove top or in the toaster oven. Get some basic supplies and explain to your family if you have teenagers like mine who eat everything that that has a specific purpose. 
and every couple of months check on those things add to it you want to have a good first aid kit available um, we had nobody get injured last night moving the big pine trees that came down but that's a possibility when you have a bunch of people and chainsaws out that somebody could get hurt so have some basic things ready for an emergency but don't go overboard with it um, you know most of the time we can get out somewhere if we need to Jeannie, hi from Maryland. Thank you so much for your thoughts there. I'm very thankful for our safety too. Charlotte said they had a lot of damage in their area close to them. No one hurt and they lost power for 12 hours, but that was not a big deal. I know some people in my area got power back last night and several are getting it throughout the day. But I live in a very rural community and I know it takes a little bit longer for us to get power. So I'm just gonna be patient and you can see my mom lives on a pretty busy road back here in the background. She's close to the interstate, she's close to the stores, at restaurants, so we're really good. Um, she might be wanting some peace and quiet later today, but for now we're all having a great time hanging out and just enjoying being at her house. And I'll still be able to work and get my things done that I need to get done for the day. And our homeschool day is gonna look different and that's okay too. We have those days planned into our schedule. If something happens and we don't get all of our stuff done, we'll pick it up by Friday. Or we'll just have a teacher work day and next week we'll reevaluate where we need to be on lessons. It's not a big deal in the scheme of things. We're just going to be grateful that we're all okay and that eventually power will be restored to our house. So if you have any questions or comments, I do have a zone mission for you and you guys know I'm not going to be doing mine today because I'm not home. But the zone mission is to spend 5 to 10 minutes decluttering a drawer in your dresser. I want you to be able to open and close that dresser drawer easily when you want to put your clothes away. So pick one dresser drawer. For those of us ladies, um, a lot of times that pajama drawer or our undergarment drawer, they just get neglected. So pick one of those and do some decluttering. If the elastic shot, ladies, toss it. Let's get that stuff out of there so you have room for what does fit and feels good. If you're doing holiday zone missions, today is plan and play day. So take a look at your calendar and decide if you're traveling for the holidays, do you need to start making some arrangements? Have a fantastic Tuesday. I plan on being back with you guys tomorrow on Wednesday, hopefully at my 10 o'clock time but it'll be whenever I get situated and have power and internet. So I will talk to you guys later. If you haven't seen pictures of our damage, flip back over to my Facebook page and take a look. It was a pretty big set of trees that came down across our road last night. Talk to you later.